So this is just the perfect example of how arrogant and full of themselves Western Christians are now because it just couldn't be more blatant than in these two news articles that I'm about to show you. One's from Britain's news channel and it was published on the 12th of March and the other one is from US News which was published on the 13th of March. So this first one here from Britain's News Channel is about this very arrogant, self-important Christian woman. Actually, she's a Christian of the worst kind. She's actually a Catholic, so she's literally a follower of the Antichrist because, as we know, the Catholic Church is the head office of the Antichrist. And she has a problem with asylum seekers who are converting to Catholicism because they're doing it and expecting to be converted within a day or a couple of days and she's saying that it takes at least nine to twelve months to convert to the Antichrist Church. Oh sorry did I say Antichrist? I meant the Catholic Church. So what just really is so mind-blowing about these self-centered arrogant Christians is that they literally think they can influence the will of God. So the whole article is in regards to her being a guest on this um, panel that is discussing these migrants who are converting and who she says are fakes and they're not really converting, they're just being fakes about it. And of course, the other news panel members start laughing at her. I mean, it's all completely orchestrated, guys. This is not something that just happened off the cuff and it was completely organic. It is completely orchestrated, okay? This woman is an actor, okay? And so they're all sniggering at her stupidity of her saying that she thinks they're all fakes, you know, and they're not really converting to Christianity. They're just being fake. And really what it is, is they are mocking modern Christians and Western Christians using this woman and this orchestrated panel. Because one, she claims that she's being persecuted because this is just so hilarious. I see this all the time with American Christians too, who believe they're being persecuted because a progressive liberal says something mean to them, okay, or somebody ignores them. And so to them, that's persecution because they're so fucking stupid and they're so fucking arrogant that they don't understand what actual persecution is. I mean, if you idiot Christians want to know what persecution actually looks like, just go and have a look at what your antichrist Catholic church did to the Gnostic Cathars. Okay, literally hacking them to death by the hundreds of thousands, burning them alive, burning them alive in their houses, in their churches, hacking their children to pieces in front of them, cutting their noses off their faces, okay, bringing them down into their torture chambers to be flayed alive slowly, okay. I mean, you guys have no clue what persecution is. These idiots laughing at you, a progressive liberal saying something mean to you is not persecution, okay? So grow a fucking backbone, all right? You don't even know the first thing about persecution. There is no persecution of Christians in America or in the UK. You are not prevented from going to church. You are not being starved because you're a Christian, okay? You are not lit in, in fear of your life, okay? You are not being threatened to have your house burned down because you are a Christian. Nobody is burning your house down because you are a Christian, okay? Nobody is stoning you to death, okay, because of your religious persuasion, okay? You're a bunch of fakes, all right? There's nothing happening to you. You are not persecuted. In fact, you are persecuting others, okay? 
you bunch of fakes like this woman here she's nothing but a fake but as i said she's just an actor all right because she's mocking christians who claim that they're persecuted okay so you're not persecuted all right you're a bunch of whinges who just want to be victims okay you want to be victims you don't even know what a fucking victim of persecution looks like you have no clue you are overindulged you are self-important you are full of yourself you are arrogant and you know why because you claim that you can speak for god or you can actually change the will of god because when you say i'll pray for you that's what you're literally saying you've forgotten your place you actually think that you are so important that you can change the will of god by praying for somebody it's just it's absolutely ridiculous that you would even believe that but you are delusional you are delusional and you are evil that's the problem you are full of darkness and you follow evil in the form of the corrupted christian church you've been convinced to pray and worship a man who never asked for you to praise and worship him nowhere does jesus ever say i want you to praise and worship me nowhere in fact the only time jesus ever talks to satan in the bible which is a parable it's a story okay it's a story and the reason it's a story is because only those worthy of the truth know it's a story the rest of you that aren't worthy because you're corrupted because you're full of darkness and evil and hypocrisy because you're fakes you see it as a literal story okay but i'm here to give you a heads up it's just a story okay go read mark 4 11 12 jesus is telling you that the bible is written in parables because only the unworthy take the stories literally that's you fake christians you who all take the stories literally so the only time that jesus actually converses with the devil in that story is when the devil tries to get him to worship something other than god the father and he literally says i will not worship anything other than god the father we are only to worship god the father and what do you all do what do you all do fake christians you go and worship something other than god the father you worship the son a human yes he is a divine human he is a direct branch of god the father which what is why he says i and the father are one i am the vine this is also what the symbolism of the tree of jesse relates to see you don't know these things because you're blinded by your evil that you contain by your wickedness by your hypocrisy by your cowardness and your lack of spine okay you are not worthy of these truths and you are nothing but hypocrites and you are standing with the synagogue of satan literally standing with the synagogue of satan proudly proudly standing with the evil men who are raining your tax payer funded bombs down on little children and blowing them to pieces and not only are you blowing them to pieces with your tax payer funded bombs you fucking hypocrites you are also allowing these people who claim to be the chosen ones to starve little children slowly to death are you proud of yourself do you think jesus would be proud of you i mean these people who have claimed to be the children of israel and claim to be the tribes of israel and the descendants of the tribes of israel and the chosen ones don't even fucking believe in jesus being the messiah but no you're just going to ignore that and that's because you're brainless you've got no brain you've got no backbone and you are blind to the truth and that's because you are evil you contain darkness and when you are a 
a dark and evil person, the truth remains elusive. You are blind to the truth. So I just would remind all of you fake fraud Christians, maybe you want to actually read Amos 5 and keep reading it. Keep reading it until you understand it, especially this part, you know, because I'm always hearing you Christians, you fake fraud, hypocrite Christians, say how excited you are. You can't wait. Jesus is returning and you can't wait. You can't wait for the return of Jesus. Well, I don't know why. Do you think the Bible's lying? Because the Bible's telling you, woe to you, woe to you, fakes and hypocrites and frauds who can't wait and are looking forward to the day of the Lord. Why are you looking forward to it? Because it's going to be a time of darkness for you, not light. Nobody's coming to save you. You disgust God, okay? And you're going to disgust Jesus when he has returned to his rightful position too because you're nothing but hypocrites and frauds. You're pathetic. You're cowardly, okay? You think that you can just pray your way into the favor of God and his son. You think if you just pray enough and idolize him enough and worship him enough that that's going to impress him and he's going to look down upon you with favor. No, he's going to look down upon you with disgust because he was very clear. He said, only worship God the Father. He also said, emulate me, emulate me when I am no longer here, emulate me. Because remember when he comes back and he says, you know, basically, you didn't feed me, you didn't clothe me, you didn't shelter me. And they say, what do you mean, Jesus? What do you mean? Where were you? And he said, when I wasn't here, the least among you was me. So that means every Palestinian child is Jesus, you fucking hypocrite, you frauds, you fakes. So I suggest you read this because this is all about you, okay? And your songs and your praying and your praising and your worship is nothing but noise to God the Father because you are disgusting hypocrites. You have forgotten your place. You cannot pray to God for people, okay? You cannot pray to change the will of God because you are nothing. You are insignificant. You are fake frauds and hypocrites. You don't even care that little children are being blown to pieces by your taxpayer funded bombs and being starved to death by the people that you are proudly standing with, the synagogue of Satan that you are proudly standing with. You are disgusting excuses for humans, let alone Christians. You are not Christians. There's just no way. You can call yourself a Christian all you want, but you are no followers of Christ. You are frauds. So I will leave it here. And I will suggest that all of you fakes start reading Amos 5 because uh, justice is coming. Peace out.